prep, training in for my first full Ironman, Chattanooga, Tennessee. It is Friday, March 29th. Let's have a good weekend. Point six five miles in. Honestly, I love running in the rain, but I'm just gonna take a break and I'm in downtown of the city I live in, so just enjoying the quiet morning rain. Nine point five nine miles. A seven minute forty-nine second mile pace another hour 15 minute run i have not had a run like that in at least a year now morning thunderstorms lightning light breeze it's 50 degrees out sun's coming out now absolutely beautiful run that's the fastest i've kept that consistent pace in quite some time very proud of that one and that is officially week nine of Ironman prep. So let's go over this week's numbers. We did two and a half hours of running for a total of 18.65 miles. We did three hours and 16 minutes of biking for 52 miles. We did an hour and a half of weight training. We did an hour and a half of swimming for 4,350 yards, which is about 2.47 miles. It's a total of eight hours and 47 minutes of training this week. Felt very strong this week. Overall, my strength is getting better. My paces are getting better and just my efficiency all around in all three disciplines is getting stronger. Good week. We will see you Monday morning. Right back at it. Good morning and happy Monday. This is week 10 of Ironman prep training. We are on the last week of build phase two. I can't believe that already, that this second phase went by so quick. I woke up, feeling very fatigued, got some coffee in me, a banana, and then felt extremely strong and ready to go. Even when I was swimming, it just felt as if, you know, when you're running and you're just, might as well just keep going. You're in the zone, your heart rate's perfect. Swimming is starting to feel like that, so that makes me feel a lot more confident but we did 45 minutes of weightlifting 45 minutes of swimming swam for 2150 yards Good morning, 21.83 miles in Zwift this morning. Loop in Paris about three or four times. Lately, uh, my rides or requirement is an hour, 15 minutes. And obviously on Fridays, it's about two hours. And after this week, that's gonna keep going up. So I've been spending a lot of time watching movies, TV shows. I've been watching a lot of Suits. I know I'm over a decade late to that show came out 2010 2011 i think watched a lot of movies I'm currently watching the mission impossible dead reckoning i watched the astronaut movie with adam sandler on netflix about a seven out of ten uh i watched wonka the new wonka about a six out of ten i watched the most recent batman the batman with robert pattison and that was that was very good so i spent a lot of my mornings watching tv and movies uh because with virtual world 
obviously that can get a little boring over time. It's still very, very convenient to have the automatic shift for incline and decline. Got Tuesday's bike ride done. Now it is off to work. See you tomorrow morning for a run. There's this quote I've been resonating with lately from Erwin McManus. And it goes, if you're required to be anyone except yourself to be accepted, then the price is too high. I used to be involved with others that would bend their character to get the absolute most attention. And while they thought that they were being themselves when that spotlight turned off, then they were their actual true selves. This in return led to a falsehood life because if others only know you in that perspective, in that setting, and that's the only time they'll actually want to be around you. So many people spend their most valuable hours being busy, chasing trivial pursuits and artificial amusements, all while neglecting living a true, authentic life. It's a recipe for heartbreak. The opportunity to be like everyone else is free to everyone. But the opportunity to be your true self is only available to you. So once again, if you're required to be anyone, accept yourself to be accepted, then the price is too high nine miles to be exact about an hour 13 minutes so i got an add an extra two or so minutes to saturday's run it was an eight minute seven second per mile pace pretty cold again indiana has had quite a bit of rain in the past two days so that run started very enjoyable but towards the end there it was windy cold and rainy but we got it done off to work All right, good afternoon. Yes, it is afternoon, it's about 1 p.m. Thursday, April 4th. I did not do morning workout this morning. I really wanted to catch up on some sleep and actually give this workout uh, the effort that it deserves being rested. So I did sleep in a little bit today, worked, went on my lunch break, did 45 minutes of weights, 45 minutes of swimming for 2,250 yards. That is the furthest, no, that's not the furthest I've swam, but in that time span 45 minutes consistently that is the longest i've swam without taking you know one two three minute breaks overall feel pretty good how this week's going it is the last week of build phase two tomorrow's bike saturday run thinking i also might sunday there's a guy running across america his name's paul he's a, a veteran and he's currently in illinois i believe and he should be passing through indianapolis on sunday so i don't know i might do some extra mileage that day just to to run with him and, and give him some support but once again if you've made it this far thank you for watching thank you for subscribing the likes the comments i love interacting with people the encouragement means a lot i will see you in the next one